Good morning, Glads. I'm Dylan Hamm. And I'm Elijah Clark, and this is your KWHS News. If you completed your application with PPCC last week, remember, they will be back on April 26th to help you select classes for this fall semester. Be sure to get your hall passes from the Counseling Center to attend these college visits. And while you're there, check out other important college-related information, such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. Attention all students. The library needs its books back. If you have overdue books, please return them to the library ASAP to avoid being put on conditions. The end is near. The last day to check out books is April 27th. Not sure if you have any other outstanding conditions or fees? Check Infinite Campus. Seniors, this is especially important for you because you must clear conditions and fees by April 25th to ensure you receive your diploma in May. Return your books to the library before or after school and pay your fees in the business office. Hey seniors, graduation is about 29 school days away and the senior class would like to include your photos in the graduation slideshow. Get them in early to Benny Trujillo at his email, trujilloben2 at wsd3.org. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and only have seniors in them. Remember, last minute submissions may not be included. Attention seniors, the yearbook staff has a deal for you. For a mere $75, you can buy this year's yearbook and another one from another year. For example, if you didn't buy a yearbook from your freshman year, you can now get it with your senior yearbook. It's a cool deal and anyone can get in on this deal. If you're buying a yearbook for this year, those are still only $65. Go to yearbookforever.com or to the business office to buy yours now before prices go up. Hey Dylan, what's your favorite kind of pie? My favorite kind of pie is the kind I can smush in someone's face. Well, you're in luck. Glad's the Environmental Club is having a pie smushing contest this month to celebrate Earth Day and help save the trees. For only $1, you can buy a ticket for the opportunity to have Mr. Elhofer, Mr. Cummings, Deputy Stevens, or Mr. Southworth wear a pie for Earth Day. Buy your tickets now until April 14th from any Environmental Club member or go to room 204. Remember, the Earth Day Festival will be on April 21st. And speaking of pie, hey, Dylan, I heard Miss Betsy is making a great lunch for us today. Want to know what it is? I sure do. Hey, Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Top of the morning, everybody. Welcome back. Not too much longer to go. Today we're gonna have a chicken sandwich, so come on down and see us in the cafeteria. Um, and then tomorrow we will have chicken enchiladas instead of what's it says pork on the menu. So sorry about the menu change, and please, 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 pay your lunch charges. Thanks, have a great day, bye. Thanks, Ms. Betsy. Students, please pay your lunch charges in the cafeteria or add money to your accounts. Now, here's Abby Ragsdale with our sports update. Hey GLADS, it's Monday. I'm Abby Ragsdale and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Attention all current and prospective volleyball players. Volleyball open gyms for all volleyball players not involved in spring sports started last week and will continue on Wednesdays from 3 to 5 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Get ready to bump, set, and spike your way through next year's season. Open Gym for Basketball started last week from 6 to 8 p.m. in Bowers Gym. If you are interested in playing basketball next year, join the Open Gyms to refine your skills for the big show next year. The Cops vs. Kids charity game is scheduled for Friday, April 14th. The games will start at 5.30 in Bowers Gym when the 8th graders take on their teachers. At 7 p.m., a high school team of WHS and Mesa students take on the Cops. This is a charity event and entry tickets are $2. But wait, there's more. Each entry ticket gets a raffle ticket for prizes. If you want more raffle tickets, those will be available for $2 each or $15 for $20. See W.D. Stevens for additional information. Here are some scores from the weekend sport. The ladies tennis team returned from Pueblo with some losses. The ladies are back on their home court against Mesa Ridge on Thursday at 3.45 p.m. Our ladies varsity soccer traveled to Falcon on Saturday but came back empty-handed. Our ladies varsity soccer team takes their game to Woodland Park on Tuesday. Finally, Glads, our baseball team is on the Big Blue tomorrow against TCA at 4 p.m. Good luck to all of our sports teams this week. We'll have scores for you on Wednesday. Have a great week. I'm Abby Ragsdale. Back to you, Dylan and Elijah. Thanks, Abby. Juniors and seniors, the prom is a few short weeks away. Blast from the Past is on April 22nd at the Double Tree Hotel. Dinner starts at 6.30 and the dance goes till midnight. Remember, your guest passes are due this Friday, April 14th. Prom tickets are currently $50 and the last day you can buy them is April 18th. Remember, you cannot buy the tickets at the door. 
so be sure to stop by the business office to get your tickets today. Be there or be square. Ladies, if you had not made your appointment to check out the free dresses available for prom in Becca's closet, you need to do so quickly before the best choices are gone. Contact Miss Molina in room 111 or Miss HK in the library to make your appointments. Remember, the dress is yours to keep. Glads, if you are asking someone to prom and would like a picture of your promposal to be in the yearbook, see Sierra Perea or Kiana Dooley at lunch in room 104. Glads, the entrepreneur class needs your plastic water bottles for their project challenge. Please save your water bottles of all sizes and bring them to Lab 159. Thank you in advance. The senior class is holding a fundraiser tonight at Chick-fil-A. Let them know you're with Whitefield High School. Check out this shout out video for our amazing teachers. Hi, my name is Alex. I would like to give this power ticket to Reggie because, in my opinion, he goes above and beyond his work. And he's always social and friendly with all the other staff members and all the other students here. Hi, I'm Spencer Walter, and I want to give uh, congratulations to Ms. Murphy because she's really a great teacher who always has like a positive attitude and is really able to bring the best out of her students, I feel, and like, really helps them to understand like the subject matter in which she teaches. Hi, my name is Alyssa Sandoval, and I am here to give a power ticket to Miss Collins for being a really good teacher. She makes sure that you're working hard and that if you have anything that you want to talk about, you know, she's there for you. Always got your back. Hi, I'm Max Sanders, and I'm here to congratulate Miss Everyone because she just helps me out with everything. Um, if I have a problem, I can talk to her about it. She's really nice about it, and she's understanding. Remember to continue to fill out those reverse power cards outside the attendance office. That's all we have for you today. Good luck to the juniors on the SAT test tomorrow. We really appreciate your attention. Have a great week. I'm Dylan Ham. And I'm Elijah Clark, and this was your KWHS News.